Hi, welcome to The Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff The Gamesplainer and today I'm gamesplaining Galaxy Trucker. It has been a year since I originally did my Galaxy Trucker videos. What do I think of it? Do I still like it? I don't know. Um, I've only actually managed to get it to the table once since then. I've got a lot of games. I've had a lot of new games coming into my shelves since then. Uh, if you look at that original video, you'll probably notice the difference in shelf size, but that's, 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 that's beside the point. It's only managed to get to the table once. Uh, I remember enjoying it that once, it was early on in the year, uh, it was a four player game, we played it as the just the base game with none of the extra stuff uh, and everyone at the table really seemed to enjoy what they were playing and what they were doing. It was with a couple of guys who they're, they like games and they're into games but they don't get to play games all the time. Um, so it was a win. It's a good game still. I still think that it doesn't work so well with the five player expansion added on. You'll notice that I've got the big box, so I've got everything that um, has ever been made for it. I have since the original videos also managed to get the missions expansion. Uh, so every expansion that has been printed is in that box now. I haven't played with all of those bits, except I think that before I did my original video, I said that I had had a game where I'd pulled everything onto the table. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you've got a big box, this is my experience, this is what I've learned this year. If you have a big box version of a game, Sure, it might be fun to pull everything out of the box and use it all once. But you will realize when you do that, that the setup on that and the pack down on that is ridiculously long, number one. And number two, there's so much crunchy stuff going on that it bogs the game down and doesn't really work well. Uh, using all the expansions on this one, I managed to get to the end because I know what I'm doing, but everyone else got annihilated. No one else managed to get to the end of any of the missions with possible exception of one guy who came across the line with one pod left or something like that. Um, but that was a while back now, so don't do that. This one, it works really well as a base game. I find that, I still find that the first mission is very deadly dull and feels like you're just crafting for the first mission, but you need that first mission for people to get their heads around what they're doing. If you've got people all playing, I really strongly suggest starting at mission two and going through to mission four if you've got the version that has a mission four in it. Or if you just have the base game, go on to play 3A uh, um, instead of one. So go two, three, three, eight. That will give you some a bit more meat to your decision, a bit more meat to what you're doing. Some people look at this game and really dislike it because they find that the decisions you're making are based on randomness in the future. There's a way to mitigate that because you can take some time to look at the cards. I think I said that last time. I've never played with looking at the cards. I've never felt the need to look at the cards. I prefer not quite knowing what's coming up. Uh, at one stage, I did go through and write down a list of how many things you would need in your ship in order to be able to beat every single card in a mission. And I worked out that it's actually impossible to do that. You cannot fill your ship with enough stuff, both the rockets and the lasers and the other stuff, you can't, you just can't do it to be able to beat every single mission or take the maximum out of every single mission. So um, making the decisions about what you're willing to sacrifice is that's kind of that's part, that's really part of the meat. But that meat only comes in with knowing the game and getting to the point where you know the game. That's that's tough. That's tough because there's so much iconography going on. There's so much this the Vladishvardal iconography in this game and this iconography goes into some of his other games, other space games. So Space Alert uses the same iconography, makes it easier to learn Space Alert. Or if you know Space Alert, makes it easier to learn this one, but it's not necessarily the easiest of things to understand because you're kind of looking at a cartoony version of stuff that might have existed once in a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. If you can get your head around that iconography, it then makes it easier for you to then add the other modules in from the from the expansion. Of course, there's more tiles that come in and there's there's additions to the to the iconography. So you've got lasers that don't just shoot forward, they've got they'll shoot both ways. And you can see that very clearly. But if you don't know what a laser looks like, it's really hard to understand that. And thing, things like that. Those those elements, the double elements and, and have other things. Um, they're really cool. I love bringing them in. But I need to have players who have played the base game and know the iconography before we add that in. Because otherwise it's going to be looking up. And Whenever I'm playing with people who haven't played before, I we turn the timer over, and that's when everyone starts grabbing tiles. I give myself a, a, a an instant disadvantage. I will sit back and I will help them. I'll help everyone else 
for the length of that sand timer. Once the sand timer's out, then I will start drawing tiles for myself. I'll still help them and still answer questions that they have while I'm playing, but I've given myself that disadvantage of allowing them to take tiles for a good portion of time before I start taking tiles, because I know exactly which tiles I need, especially on that first game where there's not a heap of board to fill up, I know what I'm looking for uh, because I've played the game that many times. So if you are someone who has experience with this game, I heavily suggest you do the same thing. Um, there are also modules in that big box that give that can give you a disadvantage, so it might be worth playing with them. I have used them once and, you know, they're okay. I tend to forget about them, unfortunately, and so it's not great uh, usage of the game, but there it is. I hope that this has helped you with, with my thoughts and, and helped you think, oh yeah, that's right, Galaxy Trucker. And you know what it's done? It's made me think, oh that's right, Galaxy Trucker. I think I might play that soon. So hopefully I'll get that back to the table real soon. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter to see the pictures and, and go, hey there's Galaxy Trucker, you got it to the table. Well done Jeff. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you've got any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.